Today we want to talk about the 2013 Finite Concept Arrow Systems. This system is a very new approach to what a target arrow and what some of our crossbow bows are supposed to do. Today I'm going to focus on what a target arrow can do with this system. <coughs> a typical target system people will use 100 grain, of course will be glue in point, but I'm just using 100 grain for demonstration purposes. In most cases people who shoot 100 grain target points they're usually glue in. Now I'm going to change that a little bit. First of all, unlike a typical system, it's a multi-piece system. So the machining of each piece has to be perfect because you've got more pieces to deal with. In the case of Finark, we're very happy to, to tell you that we actually got two patents. One of them is already a already issued, the other is pending. For this is called the final arrow point system. As you can see, there's two O-rings on it. So the moment you put it inside an insert, it's absolutely guaranteed concentric and will self-tighten. The second pattern we have been applied for is called a double shoulder insert. As you can see, this, this insert have two shoulders. One right here, that's the second shoulder. Now how this system really work? Now, let me just do some math with you together. This is 45 grain. With 18, now we have 63. With another 37, we have a total of 100. How did that work? First of all, we put this and this together. As you can see, the, the double O-ring system will concentrate the whole pieces right here and get it done. And then we glue this piece on. Now, this whole thing is 100 grain. And with a basic go tip 22, this is what this is, one of the system is designed for. You can actually squeeze this whole piece in. Now you've got an arrow that have is that have a four and a half piece long carbon in it. Of course the arrow will bend, but it's significantly stiffer. As you can see from the bending, this whole portion do not bend at all. Th there is no weight change. But what's the big deal about this system? Well, I'll discuss it with a whiteboard. A typical arrow with the knock point right here and the point right here will oscillate in this format. So this is where the oscillation process is, you know, the first 15 or, t or so yards. With the, new, with the new concept system we have right here, this segment of the arrow do not bend much at all. So the arrow oscillation process is very much like this. So this part is actually being oscillated, but being this part being hard, as is all carbon, the dampening effect of this will actually carry over to this, which forced this entire arrow to oscillate a lot less. As a matter of fact, we expect the arrow in most cases to oscillate between 7 to 9 feet compared to a normal 15 yard. Now what does that mean to a normal archer in target shooting? Which means this arrow is going to go into gyro way faster than what a normal system will do. At the same time, we expect to have a lot less energy wasted during the oscillation process, which means that the arrow will spin faster, will spin longer, and will maintain the height longer, which means that with this system, this is what we have tested. An average guy who's shooting, say, 280 feet per second at 50 yards, which although with two arrow identical length, you should always see the same weight arrow, which is where the trick is, should be one and a half to two inch higher at 50 yard. That may not mean some, a lot to others, but to some, it worth something. So whether it works for you or not, you have to try it out. And that's how it works. Thank you.